What if the Earth's magnetic field, the invisible shield that protects us from cosmic radiation, suddenly flipped? This could plunge the planet into chaos and wipe out 65% of all life in mere decades. Believe it or not, 41,000 years ago, during the La Champ event, that's exactly what happened. The magnetic poles reversed, exposing Earth to a barrage of solar storms and radiation that turned the world into a deadly battlefield. This wasn't just a geomagnetic hiccup. It was a global catastrophe that reshaped ecosystems, climates, and even human survival in ways you'd never imagine. Want to know how this magnetic flip triggered a prehistoric apocalypse and what it means for us today in 2025 as scientists warn of another flip on the horizon? Keep watching because this ancient disaster is going to shock you to your core and make you rethink everything you know about the planet we call home. Let's journey back 41,000 years to the late Pleistocene epoch. At that time, Earth was in the grip of an ice age with massive glaciers covering 30% of the planet. We're focusing on the Northern Hemisphere, particularly what's now France, where the La Champ event, named after the La Champ lava flows where it was discovered, unfolded. The world was populated by early humans, like Neanderthals, who hunted two-ton woolly mammoths across the frozen tundra, while five-meter-long saber-toothed cats prowled nearby. The Earth's magnetic field, normally a protective cocoon deflecting 99% of solar radiation, was about to weaken dramatically. Why does this matter? because this geomagnetic reversal didn't just mess with compasses. It unleashed a cascade of environmental disasters that nearly wiped out life, setting the stage for one of the most chaotic periods in Earth's history, and its echoes still resonate today. It all began when the Earth's magnetic field started to weaken, dropping to just 5% of its normal strength over a span of 500 years. Normally, the field deflects charged particles from the sun, but during the La Champ event, its intensity fell from 50 microteslas to a mere 2 microteslas, leaving the planet nearly defenseless. This weakening allowed 90% more cosmic rays to penetrate the atmosphere, bombarding the surface with radiation levels 10 times higher than today. Ice core samples from Greenland show a 200% spike in beryllium-10, a marker of cosmic radiation, proving the shield was down. Early humans and animals, like the three-meter-tall Megaloceros deer, had no idea their world was about to turn upside down. Imagine a modern city losing all its power grids to a solar flare. That's the kind of vulnerability Earth faced. But this was just the start. The real chaos was about to strike. Let's see what happened next. With the magnetic field weakened, solar storms, massive eruptions of plasma from the sun hit Earth with full force. These storms, called coronal mass ejections, unleashed 1 billion tons of charged particles at 2 million kilometers per hour slamming into the atmosphere and creating auroras visible as far south as the equator. But these weren't just pretty lights. They triggered 500% more UV radiation, burning the ozone layer by 20% and exposing the surface to deadly rays. Plants, like the 10-meter-high conifers that dominated the tundra, withered, their leaves scorched as photosynthesis dropped by 40%. Animals, including one-ton cave bears, suffered genetic mutations, with 15% of their offspring born deformed due to radiation damage. Picture a modern summer day where the sun's rays burn your skin in minutes. That's the fiery hell these creatures endured. But the storms brought more than radiation. Let's dive into the climate chaos that followed. The influx of cosmic rays seeded clouds, increasing global cloud cover by 30% and reflecting 10% more sunlight back into space. This triggered a rapid cooling, 
dropping temperatures by 5 degrees Celsius in just a decade, expanding glaciers by 25%, and covering 40% of the northern hemisphere in ice. But the solar storms also heated the upper atmosphere, creating 50-kilometer-wide thunderstorms that dumped 300 millimeters of rain per day, enough to flood 20% of the land. The four-meter-long dire wolves, apex predators of the time, drowned in flash floods, their packs reduced by 60%. Meanwhile, the UV radiation caused 70% of shallow marine life, like one-meter-wide trilobite-like crustaceans, to die off as coral reefs bleached. Imagine a world where Florida freezes over while Texas floods under two meters of water. That's the climate whiplash Earth faced. But the worst was yet to come. Let's see how life struggled to survive. The cosmic radiation didn't just burn the surface. It penetrated one kilometer into the crust, mutating the DNA of every living thing. Genetic studies show a 30% increase in mutation rates, with one in five Neanderthals developing cancers from radiation exposure. Their population dropped by 50%, leaving just 10,000 individuals across Europe. Animals like the two-ton woolly rhinos saw 40% of their young born with defects, like extra limbs or missing eyes, reducing their survival odds to 1 in 20. In the oceans, 80% of plankton died, collapsing food chains and starving 90% of fish species, including 3-meter-long sharks. The radiation also created 200% more lightning, with 5,000 strikes per hour igniting wildfires that burned 30% of the forests. Picture a modern zoo where every animal starts mutating uncontrollably. That's the genetic nightmare these creatures faced. But some survived. How did they do it? Let's find out. The 35% of species that survived were the toughest and most adaptable. Small burrowing mammals like the 20-centimeter-long Megazostradon hid underground, escaping 90% of the radiation. They survived on insects, which thrived on decaying plants, with their populations dropping by only 20%. Neanderthals moved into caves, reducing their radiation exposure by 70% and their art, found in French caves, shows 50% more depictions of auroras, proving they witnessed the chaotic skies. Marine life near deep-sea vents, like 10-centimeter-long worms, survived in 5-degree sea waters, their populations holding steady at 80% of pre-event levels. It took 1,000 years for the magnetic field to stabilize, but survivors evolved with 40% of modern mammals tracing their DNA to this time. It's like nature ran a deadly gauntlet and only the smartest made it through. But this chaos left a legacy. Could it happen again? Let's explore that. The La Champ event triggered an extinction wave, wiping out 65% of species. On land, 70% of megafauna, like the three-meter-tall giant sloths, vanished as their habitats burned or froze. In the oceans, 60% of coral reefs died, leaving 80% of shallow seas barren. The climate shifts created 50% more deserts, shrinking forests by 40% and forcing survivors to adapt to drier conditions. Fossil records show a 30% drop in biodiversity, but new species emerged, with 20% of modern animal groups, like early rodents, evolving post-event. The extinction also shifted migration patterns, with 60% of bird species moving south as the Arctic froze. Imagine the Amazon rainforest shrinking to half its size, with new animals taking over. That's the ecological reset this event caused. But what does this mean for us today? Let's dive into the modern implications. In 2025, scientists warn Earth's magnetic field is weakening again, dropping 10% in strength over the last 200 years. 
a full reversal, which happens every 200,000 years, could be on the horizon, exposing us to 500% more cosmic radiation. Satellites would fail, with 90% of communications disrupted, and power grids could collapse, costing $1 trillion in damages. Radiation would increase cancer rates by 5%, and a 3 degree centigrade temperature drop could freeze 15% of crops, leading to global food shortages. The LeChamp event shows how fast chaos can strike. Geologists estimate a 1% chance of a flip in the next 1,000 years. That's the future we might face. The phone stops working, the skies glow with auroras, and the sun's rays burn through the ozone. The ancient survivors adapted, but can we? Let's reflect on that next. Here's a mind-blowing fact. Cave paintings from 41,000 years ago found in Spain show handprints with unusual finger mutations, likely caused by radiation from the La Champ event. These early humans also painted 30% more stars and auroras, suggesting they spent more time underground, hiding from the deadly skies. It's like finding a prehistoric diary of the apocalypse written in ochre and charcoal, a haunting glimpse into how our ancestors survived a world turned upside down by a magnetic flip. So, 41,000 years ago, the La Champ event flipped Earth's magnetic field, plunging the planet into chaos with solar storms, climate shifts, and radiation that killed 65% of life, reshaping ecosystems and human survival. Today, in May 2025, as our magnetic field weakens and scientists warn of a potential reversal, this ancient disaster reminds us how vulnerable we are to cosmic forces beyond our control. Are we ready for a modern magnetic flip with its power outages, radiation spikes, and climate chaos? Or will we scramble like our Neanderthal ancestors? Maybe it's time to look to the skies and prepare before the next flip turns our world upside down. If this epic tale of magnetic mayhem and survival blew your mind, smash that like button and subscribe for more insane stories from Earth's wild past.